This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me, as always, halfway across the world, is Jared Morgan. Hello, everyone. How you going? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> did, did you have uh, loud concussion bombs going off uh, for your New Year's? Yes, we did. Loud concussion bombs all <laughs> over the place. We, yeah. um... You know, people always light off the fireworks at New Year's, uh, to be expected. But this year, I don't know what the heck they were launching. But, so my car, although it technically has a car alarm, it's not like an actual car alarm. It's the, you know, what came installed with the car. So that, like, if somebody's really trying to jimmy the lock, then it'll, you know, honk and go to shut off, right? Mm. Um, But otherwise, it's not a typical car alarm, right? The things that they were launching were even setting my car off. <laughs> wow. Like, that's how much of a rattle it was given my car. <laughs> they must have been mortars. They're pr- pretty much. I mean, it sounded like it. So, yeah. Yeah, it was good times there. Um, last time on the show, we had a chat with Mel. Glad all of mm. you were able to uh, check that out. Uh, it's always that a good time, right, good. Jared? Oh, it always is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, he's always really generous with his time for us. Every every six months or so, yeah, we usually catch up with him. And and the thing and... is with Mel, it's n- yes, it's a lot about what he says, but it's also mm. a little bit about what he doesn't say. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's very much about what he doesn't say. <laughs> always, because um, there's there's <laughs> things that he just can't touch upon, and uh, you know we try to poke and prod and uh, get him to spill the beans on things, but um, obviously. He, he's, he's been getting, holding it closer to the vest this. these days. <laughs> <laughs> he's used to our sort of tricks. It, but it's not just that he's used to our tricks. I think uh, because of the sheer volume of licensing agreements that they've got on, you heard him. He's got a plan for, through like, what, 2025? Now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you're planning that far in advance you don't want to push anybody off the wire. <laughs> uh-uh. No. And the problem is that like, if you're planning that far in advance, you, you you probably go, oh, so hang on. What, what licenses can I talk about and can't talk about? And what ones are just in planning stages? It would be a mindful for if you could, like mention things that might or might not be happening. Yeah, I mean, even... Um... The discussions that we've had with him, uh, where sometimes he leaks us information that obviously we have to sit on, um, but there's been a few titles that he's leaked to us that uh, the deal fell apart and went away. So it yeah. was like, there's good reason why you don't hint at things because any number of things are tentative. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, what was the other thing that I was finding interesting about upcoming that he mentioned. I think uh, folks were really interested and happy to hear about the VR aspect. Um, well, I think they want more information may... about the VR aspect. <laughs> yeah, well, the fact that it's actually probably going to be a thing in 2023 at yeah. some point, based on what Mel was hinting at, yeah, is is great. Um, I think it's it might actually overtake the attraction of cabinets for a lot of people mm. um, with VR headsets and also on PSVR as well, being on the consoles. That will be a really amazing experience. Yeah, so uh, speaking of cabinets, um, CES just happened in Las Vegas and oh, yeah, Arcade 1-Up the was there. And if you look at what Arcade 1-Up's lineup announcement was... They're, Poke machines. They're doing yeah more Pac-Man machines. Um, deluxe size. <laughs> um, for only five hundred bucks, I'm just like, wow, you guys really, really machines. love to recycle those. Um, yeah, uh, they got the Wheel of Fortune poker machine. Uh, you know, cur- yeah. Vegas casino machine, uh, if you will. There was a Mortal Kombat <laughs> machine. What kind of machine didn't they make mention of, Jared? <laughs> Pinball machine. Pinball machine. I find that very mm. interesting because we yes. asked Mel uh, about the retail presence and he seemed to indicate that thumbs up, things were going to go. So I'm wondering oh. what in the world is going on here. 
Um, Obviously, it's not going to be with Arc- one I was going to say, is it, is it is Arcade One Up out and or is I reckon I, I can't imagine that Arcade One Up is holding things close to their vest because this was like their announcement for the year, basically. If they were going to announce a cabinet, it would be there. Yeah, I mean that's Even where they announced like really the original one. Yeah, and and as we said last year, we weren't expecting a cabinet, but we certainly were expecting that we're going to get something this year. Uh, mm. So I find that very interesting. We're going to have to keep our uh, ears open and see if there's, uh, I don't know, some new contender out there. Um, I don't know. I, I yeah. know that I know that. Obviously, when the cabinets were released, that was right at the start of COVID, and the shipping became an issue. Um, mm. And customers were not able to get theirs, and then it fell into the the price hike, which I know that that ruffled feathers over at Zen. Um, so it's curious. We'll see. But obviously, and... the other factor is you got to believe that they're going to make this work with pinball effects, and mm. that means wireless integration uh, so that we're connected via Wi-Fi because I have a feeling this is where Pinball Pass is going to be a huge factor. I think so. Because this is where you're going to be able to just have probably, it's probably going to have to be a PC or maybe a really high-end Android build or something like Uh, that. Yeah, I would say high-end Android. It's going to be high-end. Because I think Mel was saying that in his interview that you know that he's been running pinball effects on what essentially is one of those low end computer specs yeah from a zeus i think i think he said mm. so it's possible to run it on commodity hardware yeah so put that into a cabinet and you know there you go there's your um, there's your platform yeah so it, what what's interesting is here we go back around to our what would we like to see in a cabinet um, and it becomes that whole idea of, well, we want a 1080p play field. <laughs> um, we want, yes, we, do. we want a back glass with video, uh, because obviously you need it with video for, uh, all the new tables that Zen is making. Um, Absolutely. it would be ideal if we had a third monitor for just, uh, yeah, three screens, DMD. Is what we need. Yeah, three screens, um, mm-hmm. Obviously, Wi Fi connectivity. I almost think that's like the default build now. What's that? It's got to be. It's got to be a three screen build. And people will pay the money. Well, I mean, and that's what, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, based off of all the mods that people have done to either their mm. Arcade One Up machine or their At Games machine, I think it's pretty clear what we want. Um, yeah, people have shown Zen what they. Yeah. And I think you only have to look at their own cabinet build that they did. To see what they're looking at doing in cabinets, you know, because mm-hmm. that was another thing that Mel brought up, like that cabinet build house was to experiment with how cabinet builds work, and um, so look to that, and you should get some clues. Be curious to know too um, if they've had any kind of thought. Uh, Mel was talking about how. The game runs really well. I don't actually didn't say it runs great on iPad. He was just saying that iPads are extremely um, powerful now. Oh, yeah, with the M1 chip in them. Yes. All the new generation iPads are absolute beasts. Yeah. And remember, we got sent, uh, one of our uh, viewers sent us a prototype for a machine that he was making, a little tabletop machine that you just slide the iPad right into to play. Um, Makes me wonder if. Because I haven't heard anything more about that. And I know that we kind of told him, hey, you might want to talk to Zen because if they like your product, they'll help promote your product. <laughs> mm. um, uh, it makes me wonder maybe Zen will go for even that kind of a price point. Um, I think option. they probably would have learned from what other manufacturers are doing as well. You know, have a look at um, the likes of um, Toy Shock with their different form factors and different price points for their product offerings, even though it was Farsight's build. Right. Um, the the idea they had about doing a tabletop version, a smaller cabinet, and and different sort of product offerings, it just means that you'll be able to get your cabinet product in more houses, and, and that's what they want. 
Well, I know those are the kind of things that um, like Target is much more willing to put on their shelf than oh, yeah, absolutely. this giant packaging that Target never carried in their shelves. Um, you know what's really funny, though? Like, whenever I saw those um, One Up Arcade pins, um, I was, Arcade One Up, sorry, I flipped between the two. Right. There's, a, there's an arcade here called One Up Arcade. <laughs> And I, and I always get I, it's arcade one up. That's the, the cabinet builders. <laughs> but there's um, I forgot my train of thought now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <it probably> was. <laughs> derp. Derp, derp. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll have to keep an eye out uh, on that kind of thing. See what uh, see what's going on because I find that very very curious that arcade one up didn't have. A new cabinet to announce. It makes you think who is going to be, like who are the players? Maybe, out I mean, there it might moment? be a brand new player. You know, I mean, if yeah. you think about it, if all all Zen really needs is a manufacturer for a cabinet, that's all they need. Yeah, they've already got the software, they've already got yep. the chipset. You know, for what they need. So all they need is somebody that can slap some wood together and slap a monitor in, and ta da, away you go. Um, mm. there's where it would be interesting too, if they would be able to find maybe a manufacturer that is, uh, like stateside, uh, a manufacturer yep. that's in Europe, um, so that they're not having to deal with the slow boat from China. Um, and that, oh, issue, absolutely. you know, yeah. So, and that's, I think that's been the major problem. Like sure. Pandemic was chips, et cetera. But it's the, the shipping of these things all around the world. And I really think that what they really need to have is a manufacturing partner that has a good um, track record with shipping worldwide. Yeah. Um, they need to have a partner that has those relationships with what the complexities of moving stuff around the world. Yeah. I really, it's not easy. Yeah, and, and I really do think that... Uh they're probably going to build a one machine. Like I said, it's one machine and then you'll be yeah. able to have the tables on it. And again, that's why I would not be surprised if it is that it will require a pinball pass subscription. I wouldn't I, be surprised in the least about that. Mm, it seems logical. Just because Cause... obviously you're not going to... Thanks, guys. Uh, obviously, we can't transfer purchases. Yeah, um, thank you. Wouldn't that have been wonderful if we still That'd haven't nice. had the in-game currency that all you people no one wanted. groaned and complained about, so therefore we don't have that. Can't have nice things. So, no. um, <laughs> so the only thing... So if you're not having that, so it's either you're going to repurchase all the tables on Android or mm. you're going to pay for Pinball Pass and just have all the tables there. Or it's in a completely different shop or storefront. Like they might have their own digital storefront for this new pinball cabinet. Like who knows? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, something to uh, think about, keep an eye out, and uh, see where we're going from there. Um, all right. So what are we doing today? Uh, well, we're going to play some pinball. We're going to play some pinball. We uh, we promised you that, hey, what the heck, let's go, let's go revisit some of these pinball effects two tables that never came into FX3. Um, today we're going to play two that I don't think will make it into pinball effects either. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, unless you all are screaming for them uh, and give Zen every reason in the world to go, all right, fine, we'll, we'll look up that license again. Um, these ain't coming back. So... Mm -mm. Well, that's what we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing. Let me uh, load up the old Steam here, and we'll get this thing going on. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen these games. Is it really? Because I've, I've never played them on Pinball Fix Two. It was before my time on PC. Oh wow! So, um, look at it burning it in there. Burning the image in. All right, so what? Well, let me ask you what you want to start with there, Jared. Do you want to start with PVZ or Explosion I've, Man? Yeah, Plants vs. Zombies is always one I've been interested in seeing. Okay. Plants vs. Zombies. Well, plants vs. Zombies. Uh, I'll just 
let the scroll over go. Brains. Are you seeing where an issue is already, Jared? Ah. Uh, no. No. So you have the exact same green on the upper play field and the ramps All as right. you do on the lower. Therefore, making oh, yes. it very difficult to know <laughs> what level your ball is on. Right. Okay, so it's very much a just a green mess. It's a green mess. Here, I'll go. I'll just go into our uh, standard mode. Let me get my view into view what right. I like. View two. So there you go. There's your. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh huh. See why it's yeah. the not... only thing that's helping nope. you Hold realize on. what the difference between levels are is the brown edges to the ramps. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So. When I finally, uh, this table was available on the uh, PS3 uh, in 3D. When I saw it in 3D, it suddenly went, cool. oh, I understand now. Yeah. That makes more sense. But mm. where it, there's just areas of here that are just so, this whole habit trail Go get here that. just blends right in. And yeah. this right there what is that the crap. upper i mean it, it goes it's the ramp that goes up and then it's up um yeah it, it's kind of brutal yeah brutal to look at it's, uh... but all right okay i'll get i'll get playing what's a green pea that you play with mm -hmm. that's nice rise and shine. who is that voice uh, that's where's, in the game. Where's Crazy Dave? Uh, he'll come. Eventually. Alright. I have to do things. Okay. If you're thinking that for a second that I remember how to do things, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do like the, the theme integration looks great. Oh, the theme integration is fantastic. Yeah, it's like totally Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, and you even have the little... Uh, the, the, the sunflower spitting out suns. Mm -hmm. And what's the mechanic with that? Um, good question. So I'm obviously collecting suns yeah. for whatever purpose. I'm trying to see what happens when you shoot the lane. I'm gonna, that's my challenge hole to start a challenge. Nice. There's Crazy Dave. There's Crazy Dave. Nope. No! Bye, Dave. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. It's all coming back to me as far as this game goes. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I like the corn cannon as a plunger. See, they really have done theme integration well here. Oh, Kill the zombies. So, if you think about it, a lot of the things that happen in here wound up being, well, I shouldn't say a lot of, uh, but uh, with the zombies, applied to uh, Walking Dead. Yes. Another table that we won't be getting in Pinball Effects 3, or in Pinball Effects. <laughs> mm. Yeah, sorry about that Telltale Games. I'm not really keen on it. Uh, is it less Telltale and more uh, Steam, I thought. Oh, really? I thought that was the deal. Uh. Am I wrong? I don't know. I thought it was just Telltale. They couldn't strike a deal with them. Why do I want to... Oh, excuse me. It's Portal that I'm thinking we're never going to see again. Portal, yeah. Portal. Uh, you know what? That means maybe... Maybe there's a chance of... Maybe. So when you point. do that... That... Um, what would you call it? World Cup Soccer 94 launch, launch loop. You can actually drop it in one of those three slots. Oh, is that what it is? The skill shot. Is, yeah, well, it looks like it. Huh, I've never it looks there. like coin toss. All right, let's see if we can activate Dave. So you got to whack the car? Yeah, you got to pummel his car. Oh, open his boot. There we go. Oh, nice. Use slippers to select items. I, I hate stores. I never understand. Too expensive. What, that's it? Well, it's oh, okay. insufficient here. I have enough for that. I, this is why I Bacon. don't like the stores, because... Bacon? You have to A, have money, and B, it's on a timer. And it's like... Yeah, I don't like it. I, I need time to read that to know what I can actually yeah. purchase and... 
Zen has done that on a couple of tables, and I really don't like it. Well, we have discussed at length how we do not like fast scrolling messages on the uh, DMD. It oh, but I'm really just talking about how play. I don't care for the store. Um, All right, okay. The only one that does it right is Epic Quest. Yes. Wow, what are you doing? It? Oh, so the, the, are the suns the things that let you buy the things? I don't know, is it? But there's I'll money as well. I can't look at the uh, DMD. <laughs> I'm trying to work it out. Like, And it's a blind leading the blind here because I've don't. i never played the game. So I'm just... This is a table that I just tend to flip and, and things happen. Flashing things. Pretty much. And then eventually I start going, oh, yeah, that's the... That's the area that I needed to go. Because there's... How do I get to that upper flipper? Oh, Same I gotta just decide. Oh, would it be... that Maybe the sun comes into play when you're doing a main battle? Like a challenge? <sighs> ball three. Yeah, I love ball three. It all right, let's try again. Hmm. Mm. So where it says sun at that center hole. Yeah, so sun. if you shoot that three, it, it vomits out the suns. Oh, okay. Is that what it does? No. Hey, look, I'm asking. All right, God, let's, I don't know. let's see. So launch ball, <laughs> is there a skill shot? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Just launch it. Yeah. Well, maybe there is. It just doesn't tell you. Which is bad. Uh, oh, I got it. Go oh man. Oh, this okay, that okay sorry. that hurry up into the flower pot. Did you see how fast that was? No. Nah. Okay, so that hurry up was it lit this my flower pot. Okay. Okay. Literally, it is. You get one shot. The ball comes down. You have to hit it in rotation. Right. That is right. not an easy angle to get into because you just typically shoot. The slingshot instead. It's late on the flipper. Yeah, like really. So late. I'm I'm sitting there. Even. Oh, come on. Even if you're not doing it on the fly. Yeah. So I'm I'm trying to right now. No. I'm gonna try it again. It's like ridiculously tight. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> mm, that's bad. Um. It, it's just one of those combo shots that's just like good luck ever getting it. One, two, right. Three. Okay. I reckon there is a skill shot to be had. There is. It's, it, I realized. Uh, hold on. See if I can. There it is. Whack the zombie on the head for skill shot. Uh -huh. What zombie? <laughs> yeah. It, is it. Maybe there's a zombie in the water? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we'll have to have a look next time it comes up. We have to work this out. Okay. Okay, here we go. Is my fire pot's flashing. Here we go. Um, uh, nope. The zombies are coming. What? So what? Okay, oh, welcome. Okay, something's me. happening. We oh. started something. We gotta shoot 18 zombies, it looks like. Oh, the zombies look so good. Brains. So you gotta whack them. Whack those. Well, here's the coins. Oh, yeah. So, so I think it's that we get coins for killing zombies. Yeah, they, well, in the game, they normally sort of pop out randomly. Normally, if you get a really big zombie. Oh, he's getting close. Got him. He did. I'm That's assuming that if they hit me, it's not good. But I also don't know. Brains. About to find out, though. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there we go. Oh, that's a double. <laughs> that. Gee, they keep coming. Jeez. Double tap. Well, because so you're going to have to hit 14 18 out of 18 more. zombies. Yeah. Two more? 16 zombies. One more. 17. Nope. I got a bucket head to get. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we got oh, saved. <laughs> I like the I like the end music. Got 
the prime. Cool. Okay. I imagine the more missions you do, the harder they get. <laughs> You're laughing at the uh, cook -cook combo? Yeah. Uh, well, that's the only thing we can afford. Twin Sunflower. Sun's worth twice Twin as Twin Sun's. Much. Nope. Oh, nope. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's very flowy, though. It's not too bad with the flow, but that shot is just horrible. Impossible. What does that shot you, give you, though? I have no idea. Alright, so the pop ups are in there. Okay. We wouldn't even know. Nope. Hidden pop bumpers. Uh, that was said jackpot increase. So, is it that the suns increased the jackpot? Do you think? May I don't know. Let's do, let me hit a uh, sun over there and find out. Let's see. Oh no! It's just it's. Uh, I guess it's looking like it's adding whatever. It's just. I don't, I really am struggling to work out what the sun. I mean, in the game, obviously the suns let you buy, um, you'll let you equip your um, plants mm -hmm. and buy plants. So uh, I would assume that it has something to do with when you're in a mode, it makes it easier or something. Oh, wait, the flower pot's open. What does the flower pot do? Sneaky us now. Okay. Diggers underground. Sure, why not? Place with a button. What are you supposed to do? Uh, hit the flashing shots. Oh, right. So not not the zombies, but the no. flashing. Of course, can't hit it. Of course not. Can hit other things, but not that. Got that one. There you go. Well, it looks like I lost the mode. <laughs> yeah. You got easy. Oh. Uh oh. All right. Oh, I see the zombie now. He, he's got the the mask on. So you got to shoot it. That's gonna be a hard one then. Bonk. Got oh him. yeah, you got him. Nice. So you know, a lot of ways, you're right there that it is a coin toss. Totally coin toss. Sun Frenzy on two more. So shoot whatever you just did on and get get Sun Frenzy. Sounds like a multi ball. Uh, and I didn't shoot it. So is that the sun shot? I don't know. Oh, it's where the you see how the the star is flashing? It's a shot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's that. And it's moving. Hurry up, shoot the flower. No, I'm never gonna get oh. that flower pot. It's just like That's No so way, hard. no how. Oh, I actually got it. Oh. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, repeat module. Cool. Shoot the flashing lights. Oh, that voice. <laughs> but that's actually in the game. Is it? Yeah. I've never heard that voice no? in the game. I could swear it's from the game. 
No. The only voice you hear is Crazy Dead going, wah, wah, wah. Hmm. Which is all you really need. Tells you how much I've played Plants vs. Zombies too. <laughs> All the suns. Oh, he just got squashed. Yep. With the squash. All right. I was like, I have to have a kickback by this point, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't even going to bother trying to save that. This is a good... Oh, okay. Okay, something out of... Okay, going nuts. Let's... Sure. Okay. Okay. What oh, no, you got conehead. Ooh, and fog. Survive the invasion. Fog oh, is fun. I like fog. Like, this is cool. It'd be really cool if the fog actually left, uh, you know, trails from the ball. Oh yeah, and let the ball was like it swirled. I'd be able to do that on FX. Mm-hmm. But not FX too. Because that's what we've been saying. Like Sounds you really could do weird. rain effects or, uh, yeah, things like that. Oh, I failed the mode. Uh oh. Did you? Did you? Uh oh. Jeez. Oh, I like how it fades away. Mm -hmm. Not a ball uh, free. That's really it? cool. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. There's that's, a sense of plants versus zombies for you, Jared. That's cool. I it's, can imagine it gets a bit long in the tooth after a while. It does. Um, mm. And, jeez, oh, look at those scores. <laughs> no, not 191. Million. Is. My best is 28 that's, million. <laughs> that's quite a slog. Yikes. Far out. 191 million. Right. Jeez. Uh, all right. Let's take a look no, at Miss Explosion. Okay. So if you thought that that voice was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Strap in because it's getting wild. No, I didn't want a hot seat. Yeah. You're going to love this, Jared. <laughs> Apparently, this so was is this a based on... Wii game, I think. Oh, it's based a on a Wii video game. game. It's based on a video game that I think was actually also a comic book, possibly? Because if I'm not mistaken, I thought that this had a Marvel license attached to it too, but I'm, I could be way off. Wow, this looks like a busy table. Yep. <laughs> right, I'm just going to... Why is she doing the Macarena? Exactly. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> and why is she facing away from you? As as the play character? Uh, who's she looking at? Oh, the I guess the big smash yes. dude. You're gonna hear Cotton Candy Pandy a lot, Jared. Jared, just so you know. <laughs> Sounds like Rainbow Dash. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now what I will give this table is it is flowy. Like, whoa, that's cool. It's got the Steve Ritchie vibes all over it. It's with that upper right flipper that we all love. <laughs> so check back check out the kickback lane here it's like a moving conveyor yeah, belt it's a moving conveyor belt that's cool I yeah. actually want you to drain <laughs> down the left only what Oh wow! It comes down fast. Candy, 
Okay, let's see if I can start the mode. There we go. Oh, that's a... Oh, it's Revenge of the Robobot. So, you see there's these little walls here. And you have to smash through them. But you can only smash through them forward. You can't smash them on the backside. Oh. Okay. Just kind of an interesting dynamic. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Got that one. Oh. Uh, where's my next one? Oop, got that one. That's uh, and good that thing I had to glance them. There we go. Is there another one? I think there is. Right. Oh, nope. Next line over. Oh. Lord, there we man. go. Got it. All glass. Checkpoint reach. Wow! Whoa, jeez, okay. Okay, now i got to hit these bombs. Oh, bombs. Nope, missed. Got them both. Oh, double. Oh, there you go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's cool. Or isn't that cool? They should uh, honestly steal that and put that in another game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this extra ball is lit. I don't know where that is. Oh, I see it now. Right. Oh, no, not there. Is it that hole? Yeah, it's that hole. Oh. But hey, we'll we'll just start another mode instead. There's uh, a thing. Yeah, what do I need to do? Hit not... flashing lane. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> all, all the flashing lanes? Just hit anything. <laughs> Pretty much. And I'm failing miserably <laughs> at it. Is this a... I know I'm not looking. Is there a hurry up? There was a hurry up. Hit the flashing lane. So... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which, which one? There's all... They're all flashing. Okay, but it's not... Maybe it's not giving me a countdown. No. Okay, good. It's that's what I wanted to know. Which means it's going to give me time to hit all these flashing lanes. It's sort of like the antithesis of a hurry up it's the take your time and shoot the shots up you know what i'm fine with that because <laughs> i needed to actually figure out what the heck to aim at <laughs> oh man you're right this is flow as heck oh man look at this, this is great oh jeez, yeah oh look it's the uh it's a corkscrew from inbot Hooray. Look at that. A nice Must call out, Jared. Oops. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. But it was like, thank you for that call out and telling me that I have an extra ball, that I hit it. Yeah, that's... You know. That's nice. Huh. All right. So... Uh, is there a... Is it explode again? Yeah. <laughs> we'll shoot again. Explode again. Uh, <laughs> at least it didn't say splooge again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is a layout that I... W or, like... The toys, the layout... I wouldn't mind Zen recycling this with a different theme. Okay, so you can buy Miss Explosion Man now on Steam for, in Australia land, $14.50. Oh, the actual game. Yeah, the actual game. I'm just looking at the... It's a platformer. Oh, okay. Right, okay. You get 50 levels of single-player action. Oh, it's... Yeah, okay. I can see where a lot of the um, tropes are coming from. Just from the trailer alone. Oh, that's like... It's a platformer, but everything is super zoomed out. Interesting, okay. What am I doing again? Trying to hit something. Okay, so this was an Xbox Game Studios game. Well, it's a publisher. Oh, okay, well, there you go. That's why we're not going to see it in Pen FX. Yeah. 
And it was produced by Twisted Pixel Games. Yeah. Released all the way back in 2013. Because this was never on um, PlayStation. This was only on Xbox. Xbox, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna switch back to watching the game now. But yeah, that's it. Looks interesting. Oh, nice. Okay, a little um, pin capture, and you knock it free. Yeah, nice. Hey, she moved. That She's still doing the Macarena. What is going on with that? <laughs> oh, so you can add even more Just balls. Just be thankful that they didn't have that music in the game. Imagine that being an earworm, the Macarena. <laughs> I it would the be game. turning off the music so fast you wouldn't even be amazed. <laughs> yes. The only thing that could make it worse is if it was the chicken dance. Oh, yeah, well... Like, oh, yes. they, they could do, like, the world's most annoying music game. Or, or like music table, and it'd be like, yeah, Macarena, Chicken Dance, uh, Mambo Number no. Five, uh, <laughs> the, the the ketchup song. It's like all those things that you hear at weddings, and you just go, really? It's the only place yeah, you're ever going to hear this. City limits. So meanwhile, I still have really no clue what's going on. Uh, but apparently, I've completed two modes. So. How do I know that? Because, hey, look at that. Inserts that tell you where you are in your game. Oh, yes. I like that. So the, the, big, the big boss dude actually pokes his head up through the playfield from the back of the playfield. I like that. Oh, now you get to shoot his mouth? Yeah. For locking the balls, maybe? No, it's it like uh, for starting the mode. You hit him twice, I think. And there you um. go. And then he spits it back out at you. Oh. Ooh. Are we playing Cyberball Things. now? Things. Oh, and you, <laughs> hit, you can only hit them from behind. Where their little blue butts exposed. Yes. Get a, shoot the blue butt. Get the booms. Yep. Zapped. Zapped again. Zapped. <laughs> there we go. It's like no matter of time. She's still doing the neck around. Oh no, she's doing something now. <laughs> Okay, bombs. Nice. Is there another one? What do I need to hit? Uh, oh, I see it. I think. Where? Uh, right. Th oh, no, she's holding it. Okay. No, I don't know where. Never mind. Whoa, whoa, oh. hello. What is this? Yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> I had no clue what I was aiming at. <laughs> what were you supposed to shoot? Treadmill. Okay, right, so. Oh, right, yeah, so now cool. we got both kickbacks going. Yeah. Except for really just treadmills. It's funny that the ball doesn't seem to go down there that much. Nope. You can keep Actually, the ball in play draining. on this table. That's the only... Uh, I, so I'm not going to say it's the only marathon. downfall of this table. See, there we do... I oh, see, that was heaps easier to aim. Yes. Without it being in first-person mode. Right. Now, you got an oscillating light on the um, on the ramp. See how it's Super like... Super jackpots, rollover barrel, surprise. Oh, okay. So, let's see. Did it give me anything? No. Well, not visibly. Amazing. 
you can keep the ball in play a long, long time. Yeah. Um, so here's a case where, oops. But you get to explode again. Uh, oh man, what's going on? Oh wow. Okay, so you're kicking the bombs into old mate's face. Wow, you're just nailing him. I like the Max Headroom vibe of the voiceover. <laughs> Great. I think you just beat someone. Did I defeat something? I just heard a boom. Well, that could have been a Steam notification. Oh, yeah, it was a Steam notification. Yes, people are going, hey, what are you playing? Why are you playing this? <laughs> Whenever I play... Oh, so it times out. I can't flip. Oh, okay. Oh god, you're still on ball one. Am I really? Jeez. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Far out. Uh, okay, well, if Pinball Wizard's ball was 126 something and change on the other one, this one will be like billions. <laughs> um, yeah, whenever I play uh, FX2, I will get notifications from people going, wait, what do you know? Why are you playing this? Oh, really? Yeah. They all think that I'm doing it for a reason. I love how people watch us to see, like, to get clues about what may or may not be happening in the game. They I just realized, did you see the, the red figure that was dancing around? No. Stop oh. messaging us, Pinball Wiz. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed it'll be Pinball it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... The the red guy that was dancing around, that's Explosion Man. Oh, so, that's that's Yeah, so we have Miss okay. Explosion Man who's pink, and then the red guy, if you see him again, is just Explosion Man. Okay. This is hilarious that I'm still on ball one. I'm gonna wizard it on ball one. I like that, that each time you capture the ball, it, uh... It announces it? Well, no, that it gives you another ball. So you can keep on increasing how many, uh, balls you have in... Oh! ...multi-ball. So... Right. If Up I to knock... A maximum number? So there you go. So I locked... I knocked that one out. Okay. So you if I lock another there. one... There we go. And it gives me now another one. I wonder how many I can do. How? How? Don't die. That couldn't help that. Uh -oh. I imagine it's going to get to the point that it can't handle any more balls in the playfield. It's got to be capped at six or something. Oh, it didn't let me go that one. Nah, you've had enough. Oh, probably um, I've worn out my welcome on the mode. Yeah, probably. Okay, back to our regular program. <laughs> Let's take care Still of the dude. one. There we go. All right, this should be the final mode. Well, oh no, it started over again. I'm on unbreakable walls now. So I did. I oh. wizarded it. You actually did everything. I actually did everything on ball one without even realizing it. Yes. <laughs> you wizard moded. So you can see ball then ball one. where the uh, faults are on the table. Well, yeah, it's a grind fest. Yes. Well, it's not that it's a grind fest. It's that you don't feel any sense of advancement. No. Um, just things happen, You're and then you slipping? go, oh, wow, apparently I've done something. And there's no intention to what you're doing, um, per se. Mm. Um, which is a shame, because, I mean, the, so the the shot selection is really fun. There, There's a lot it going... It is. It looks great. You know what would be really cool? 
Just take this layout and reuse it. That's what I'm saying. I just completely reuse it on a future table. Any yeah. of those tables that you can't bring over, just retheme them. Do a classic pinball manufacturer trick. Just retheme them. <laughs> Do like an Eldorado City of Gold and and solar whatever it is. And maybe make it harder. Well, and that's the other thing that, you know, now I'm... Look at that. I've got a 10 times multiplier. I've wizarded. I'm still on ball on one. On the first ball. I'm on the first ball, but now that I'm starting over the modes, it's not like they're going to get necessarily harder. No. I'm back to unbreakable walls. She's doing a really good impersonation of Peter Garrett dancing from Midnight Oil at the moment. <laughs> How can we help when these walls aren't breaking? Yeah, that's right. You ass force as. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do gotta say, Midnight Oil is an incredibly underrated band for the songs that they had. You, yeah. Like, they're really catchy, but they're also, like, so political. But because oh, here in the political. States, we have no clue what the politics are, nah. it never registers. No. And it wasn't literally until years later that I was listening, and I, and I had some sense of the uh, issues with uh, the history with how Aboriginals were treated and their mm. lands, that I went, oh. Wow. Okay. He's really he's really digging in on this, isn't he? <laughs> oh yeah. They didn't muck around. Oh, so you've actually got a a drain hole save as well. <laughs> yeah, because why not keep the ball in going? It's it's literally going to be like. Can impossible. you even lose the ball? Like lose the ball, Chris? Like just what don't, on purpose? Actually drain. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> you just don't flip. Flip. Don't. All right. Flip. I'm gonna I'm gonna not flip. Don't flip. Drama. <laughs> Drama. Drama. All right. Ten times multipliers. Watch your... Wow. Uh-huh. Jeez. <laughs> okay. And... Here we go again. Back to it. So, yeah. I'm just going to drain. <laughs> yeah. There's no... Uh, I'll, we'll be here for hours. Yeah, no one said watch an eight hour stream. Which I think is legitimately my problem with this table that eventually I just go, mm. I'm done. I don't got any more to do with this. Hold on, I can't go until the ball save is turned off. You just have to take the ball save and end the torture. With the good. Ooh, I could stand a Devo table with an energy dome that uh, winds up being the, the, the loop up, <laughs> right? Yeah. Come on. Ah, there's a music table I can get behind. Um, okay, so I didn't beat my high score. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. But Ricardo, you're an absolute... Uh, yeah, because uh, I only punishment. did 200 million as opposed to the apparently time I did 528 million. <laughs> so you're, you're second on the leaderboard. Yeah. Boy, that would have been a... Actually, that would have been such a long game. Yeah. Because we were only here for like, what, 15 minutes? About, yeah. So you could probably get the top score in about an hour. Yeah. Maybe. Um, all right, I think that's going to be it for our playtime now. Uh, mm. Should we revisit the What's South Park next? tables at some point? Yeah, probably. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we could. Just to take a look, because I think those are the... Well, I mean, uh, yeah, because those never made it over to uh, FX3 either. No, they didn't. So there might be some people who have never shame. seen... It's real shame, so good. They're, well, the Butters table is good. <laughs> I don't care for mm. the... I don't care for South Park, but the South Park Butters table, that's that's where it's at. 
the layout on South Park Table is good. Yes. I think they should reuse it. Just the Spellorama wasn't. Oh, um, yeah, well. <laughs> my opinion about Spellaramas is known. All right. Yeah. So there we go, folks. That was uh, your look at two tables that are probably never going to see the light of day again. <laughs> Unless they retheme them. Um, Opportunity there. Yeah. And like the good layouts. Well, here's the thing. Like I said, I think Misplosion Man, retheme, uh, with a wild ball, maybe those outlines mm. become dangerous. Because right Make now they're the not dangerous. Make the outlines wider. Yeah, right make now they're harder to get kickbacks. Yeah, they're they're well. It's not that get make it harder to get kickbacks. It's make it harder or easier for the ball to actually go down the lane. It mm, just never went over there. Kickbacks. No, they're very very conservative. Uh, sorry, liberal outlines. Um, you know, and then so I think that that one could easily use a retheme. The PVZ table. <sighs> I don't know that I want to see that layout on something else. They did the theme really, really well. Mm. It just needs a different coat of paint. Um, so, okay. Different coat of paint so that the, the visually it's easier to understand where you're going. Um, right. You know, make, make clear plastic ramps for the uppers. I don't know. Anything of that nature. Yeah, something. they don't need to be textured like that. Do they? No. Um, and then make the uh, you got to change up the rules. You got to make it more interesting. Um, again, yeah. I was just flipping around. I I didn't didn't quite understand where or what I was doing. Um, and that's yeah. I think that's the sum of both these tables. That there's just no sense of progression that you're going anywhere. Um, no drive. It's accidental progression. Yeah, yeah. There's no. It's not like mm. you're like, oh, I gotta get this. I gotta get now. I gotta collect this one. Oh, now I gotta. There's no. Roadmap. It's like uh, I'm done. Yeah. Hmm. Um. So that would be the that would be the task if they were to do PVZ. Don't just do a port. Change up the rules. Uh, change up your code. Um. Leave the theming. Theming is great. Mm, uh, yeah, the theme integration is amazing. Yeah. You know, make make plans for zombies too. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah, use that yeah. excuse. I don't know. Um. But. It makes me want to go back to Plants vs. Zombies just the game. Then I realize it's not PopGap anymore. It's EA Sports. And that's gross. True. Mm, that is true. Gross. Which I don't know exactly how much of a... Well, because PopGap doesn't much... exist anymore, huh? No, they got bought out by EA. So you would be having to And then EA, EA put a whole lot of Smurf berries in it. <laughs> Smurf berry so it's gross. Smurf Berry Crunch. Okay, hold That's on. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm going to. I just want to uh, quickly look and see. <sighs> da, 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 da. Oh no, it was nothing. Uh... It wasn't asking about what I was playing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I I just want to see what the what the messages were that were popping up. Mm. Um, yeah, so. What are we going to do next time, Jared? Don't know. Maybe comment on the next pinball show when they release it later on in the month. Ooh, Maybe if they do. I think because the next pinball show should give us more details about Adam's family, I imagine. I think so. Based on what Mel was saying, yeah, he couldn't steal the thunder of his marketing team. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to see some extra stuff. And I think it's probably going to relate to gold mode. Ooh, gold mode, yes. I think so. That's what he was sort of, uh, you know, hinting. At. Yeah. Um, let us know via the old Twitter, or you can comment here uh, on YouTube. Uh, what do you or think Discord. is going on with the... Oh, yeah, or Discord. I always forget about Discord. <laughs> Don't forget about Discord. It's great. <laughs> um, what do you guys think about... what? what what's your prediction for Cabinet? Uh, that you can uh, go out and purchase. Hmm. Um, obviously, I don't think we're going to hear really anything about it until Zen announces cabinet mode hmm. um, and hammers that kind of stuff out because I think it'll go part and parcel with whatever they're able to actually yep. do in cabinet mode. That's what they're going to do on a physical machine. Do you know that we've already seen some collaborations on like really high-end cabinets? Like remember that one was like 
what eight or nine grand US with all it the was flashy like on a lights. Pedestal. Yeah. Well, no, well, because I mean, you 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 understand what Mel was hinting when he was saying that he had celebrities that were asking for machines, and he was yeah. talking about how it would you know oh and it's got LED with you know all of a sudden Star Wars is playing and then it goes to you know something I'm like that's that cabinet w- was in David Buster's the, the David Buster's yeah yeah. So, so they've done a redo of that. Oh, maybe they're com- yeah making a commercial version of that. That thing is going to be a pretty penny <laughs> if if that's oh, if they're making that. Boy. That's a high end machine right there. <laughs> that, that'll be the cost of a new in box stern. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, get, save up your dollar bucks for that. <laughs> <laughs> your dollar right. dues. Um, all right. Well. Yeah, so maybe we'll comment about that. If not, uh, again, we'll maybe do another one of these uh, playthroughs. Maybe we'll do the uh, South Park tables. Or, mm. please, feel free, folks. Um, give us suggestions. What is it you want to see me play? Um, mm. Give me two tables. Because basically, if we do two per show, um, that's good. good uh, combo. So, yeah, mm. ask uh, what is it you want to see play. Maybe it's something you've never purchased. Maybe it's an old table. Like, well, we're kind of hammering through them all now, but... Um, even if it's you want to see the difference between FX2 version and FX3, um, any of those things. Uh, we also have the Snoopy table we need to take a look at. Uh, yeah. I don't think either of us have taken a look at that in depth. Uh, we can possibly look at some of the DreamWorks tables, but I know that we've done those before. Oh, yeah. So, um, well, I know we did it on the mobile version because I linked it up to here <laughs> that's right it. you you made it work on the ipad i made it work on the ipad yeah so uh uh yeah we'll take a look at snoopy for sure also hmm. other than that it's jared's favorites be stuffing things stuffing things for you till next time folks bye-bye bye-bye